right, it's about eight minutes of. I'm waiting for them to open. It's still nice outside before the heat gets to you. And uh, once I get in there, I'll probably try to get to the knickknacks. Uh, wish me luck, guys. All right, we're in the knickknack aisle, and I'm getting a bunch of goodies already. Uh, piggy collection, elephant collection. Uh, I just picked the, here's a big fat piggy. I just picked this guy up. Well, I picked up a bunch of stuff, but uh, this is art glass, signed art glass for 209, plus my 20% off. I grabbed a couple of piggies, uh, myrtle wood uh, bottle. That's ceramic right there, that house. That's pretty cool. A Wizard of Oz picture. And we'll see what else is here. Uh, broken trinket box. Got a water globe. Oh, what are you? You're an A. There's a little, a little lamb planter. I don't know. We might get him. He's kind of cool. I like this. I remember these. Oh, dollar nine. Yeah, we'll get that. Uh, here's some raggedy ants. Some raggedy ants. Four oh nine for her. And this one is four oh nine. Cool. More elephants. More figurines. Some glass bottles. It's a poodle planter. Cute. He is marked. I don't like him as much as the teddy bear, though. Uh, that's a pretty dish right there. A leaf dish. Move, hold on, guys. I gotta move my cart. Um, that's an interesting looking piece of pottery. 209. That's pretty neat. I like that. It's like bisque ware. Um, a church. Here's a 50th wedding anniversary topper. I really like this piece up here. I love the glaze on this. So pretty. So, so pretty. And it's not marked. But it's a nice piece. Just, I have too much. I have to have special pottery. I have special pottery here. Candle. There's a little old elephant. He's so cute. How much is he? Dollar nine. Uh, Woodland Express with the moose. Oh, here's the front. Cute. The resin. If you can see them. Right there. There you go. Cute. This is a cool looking uh, controlled bubble vase. Not a very exciting color. If it was blue, I would have grabbed it. Here's a coconut. Oh, it's not a real coconut. It's very heavy. And a little figurine. And a Mrs. Fields truck. Elephant. There's a pig with a bird on him. 209 for him. Cute. Cute. But I don't really, yeah, he's not that cute to me. So here's a nice trivet. Trivet, trivet. 109. That's pretty with the carved wood on it. That's nice. Okay. <clears throat> here's a nice piece of pottery here. I like the glaze on it. Let's see if it's modern or not. Oh, can't read it yet. It looks like crystalline. It looks like crystalline finish on that. All right, let's grab it and let's grab this. You can look later. All right, I'll show you guys the other side here, which is the clear glass. Nothing very exciting here. We got the white. Oh, this looks like it's made out of alabaster or marble. Alabaster box can be opened with a hard twist or the lid without damaging the alabaster. Yeah, but I see the... It looks... I don't know. 
Oh, look at the control bubble paperweight. It's a little apple. That's cute. We'll grab that. Let's see if anything else is here. Um, here's more elephants. <laughs> the elephant, old elephant earring holder. And let's see what this is here. Uh, it's got a stopper in the bottom. Is that for toothbrushes? I'm thinking maybe. There's a recycled glass bowl. Got some random bubbles in it. And an owl dispenser, soap dispenser. And what are you? Your coasters, but I can't. Oh, your inlaid abalone. Okay, we'll get those too. And here's a little piece of art pottery, like a diffuser. Kind of cute. Iod is still here. <laughs> and, uh, okay. This is pretty, but it's chipped, of course. Pretty piece. And I think that's a hassock. All right, I'll be back. Just to show you, this is cute. It's all made out of leather for 209 and real fur, like an Eskimo. But, uh... These don't do well in Georgia in the summer. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you. Also, this is pretty, but it's just painted on the inside. But it's a nice color vase. A lot of red vases today. All right, we'll look at metals really quick while nobody's here. Um, here's a pretty jewelry box. Looks like it's discolored from smoke. Maybe they kept it open. It shouldn't have happened if it was closed. Pretty. Uh, Goninger 409 for that. Here's a little cast iron skillet brownie mix. Then we'll look at the mugs after this. I did just grab one art pottery mug because I'm a sucker for them. That's cool. It's a fake apple bag. That's kind of cool. I like that. 409 for that. And then see what else is here what is this a pot a pot made to look old and then we'll flip over to the other side and look at the mugs and glasses what is this is this a pig too oh he's so cute he's a pig pitcher i guess hand painted 209 we'll throw him in the card he's a contender maybe we'll see um, this looks like a wine holder here, and it's a little metal house, like a lantern, and you put a candle in. Cute little tea set, still, well, part of it's still there. Here's some goblets. Um, I don't know. They're kind of cool. I'll, I'll put them in the cart and look them up and see who makes them. There's two. There's two. Silver plate is a little worn off of those. That's for sure. And here's a cool little tray, but it's all wavy and sticky. It's very sticky. I don't know what that's for. And then we have more coasters here. They have a design of ducks on them, 209 for them, but I think they're just silver plate. Not that spectacular. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a pole to something. Isn't that lovely? All right, we're going to flip around and look at the mugs. Well, I'll just put it back on. So we're here on the mugs and the glasses. I think these are De Serrano. Dollar nine each. I haven't tried to sell these. They're cool. That'd be twenty percent off. I don't know. I don't think it's that great of a money maker. I don't know. Oh, I've seen the teapots for these. Yeah, they're Pyrex. They're Pyrex cups. They're so cute. Okay. Um. A lot of Christmas. A lot of Christmas. That's a pretty pattern on that glass right there. Like that one. And it's a pink pottery mug. 
and let's see. Oh, there's a little teapot right there. It's very cute. And we'll keep looking here. And buy a Ryu. Don't know what that is. What is this? Studio Nova? Pretty. Sugar and cream are the sugar actually has a lid. Very surprising. And let's see, what does this one say? You're playing. You're playing. There's an emoji mug right there. Let's look down there for anything special. Those are cute. What are these? Those are very cute. 309 for the set. So it's the two cups and the what is that? Japan. They're kind of cute. They're kind of cute. Vintage. We might grab those. I'll put them in the cart for now and see. And uh, put them up here. Let's see what else we've got. Um, I have a set of four of those. Um, this one's got a chip in it, but I do have a set of four of these. They're worth good money. The Federal, Federal Glass, I believe. I'll be selling those too. But those might go online. And just checking out the rest of the mugs, seeing if we have art pottery or any novelty ones. But I don't see anything that'll spark my interest here. So, oh, there's a bunch of sheep on that one. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Okay, this is cute. Well, it's 209 and somebody signed it from 1961. And then we have this bowl, like a console bowl, I'm guessing. And this one is, I can't make it out. Maybe you guys can, um, but it's 309 for that one. Put them back. It's gonna be hard to get around. There was a line of people behind me to get in here. So uh, it's gonna be hard to get down the aisles. We might have to break this down into two parts. What in the world is that? That is a, a kitty cat of some sort, I think. And, uh, all right, we're going to have to come back here. I can't make it down this aisle. We'll be back. Here's a cute owl lamp. I like that sculpture, too. It's been here a while. But he's cute. All right, we're going to head into the, slowly, head into the, oh, there's a clock, and the trunk is broken on the elephant. Um, not seeing much here. Nothing standing out to me. Of course, we have the baskets up opposite of me, and there's really not much to show there. That's a nice picture frame. We have some boxes. That's a nice box with the hook on it. Probably for recipes. 309 for that one. There's a little hook. Cute little hook. Maybe for a bedroom or a bathroom. Alright, so there were probably a lot of... Oh, look at the globe bookends and look at this one's destroyed. That's a shame. Here's a wood turned uh, vase. Right there. The letters are still here down below. And... What is this? That's cool. That's a cool piece. But I don't know what you would do with it. 609. Oh, this is a nice box. It's got a tree on it. Lacquer box, 309 for this. Let's see, it looks like it's, uh, well, that can be fixed. Okay. All right, that's a contender, maybe. I'll put that in. What is this? Some kind of cutters. 209. We'll have to see. Maybe I can use that for something at home. Always looking for cutting apparatus. Okay, I think we're done in the wood. This is the stuff that's supposed to look like wood, like the Sirocco stuff. And, uh, okay, let's move on. We're here in toys. Um, not looking like a lot of stuff here. 
kitty cat. Usually I could find something here, but I'm not really seeing anything here. Glass. What is that? Glass stone art craft kit. What is this? Glass stone art craft kit. Glass stones. They're cabochons. Oh, you make your own cabochons. 209. You know what? Maybe I'll get that for the craft sale. Minnie Mouse puzzle up there. Um, no games. No special games to speak of. And, whoopsie. I'm trying to get around this pole. We have some teddy bears and some giraffes. Oh my. Oh, he's a cute one. He's different. Who makes him? Stephen Smith. Stephen Smith stuffed animals. He's kind of cute. He's kind of, he's crying. Don't cry. Don't cry. He's kind of cute though. Ooh, check him out. Mr. Chipmunk. Brian, come to the front, please. Brian, Brian. And a dirty unicorn. You're a dirty unicorn. And then we have a cat. We have a cat with a unicorn horn and butterfly wings and a rainbow tail. Pretty cool. A red flamingo. And that's about all I'm seeing here. So we're going to be done with the toys right up. Oh, there's Piglet. There's Piglet. And the regular toys here, let me move real slow. The regular toys just have a bunch of uh, whatever here. I did score, I came here a couple days ago and they just put out a bunch of um, Monster High dolls and I grabbed all them. So, I don't know who she is. And I don't, oh, she looks like a Bratz doll. Okay. So we're done over here, guys. Here's like the totes and the backpacks, and it looks like pretty much the same thing. Here's a Grogu. He's yeah. cool, but he's really worn out. Um, this is a neat. This is a neat bag. I like the texture of it. That's cool. And that looks like what is this one? A Sachi? It's dirty, dirty Sachi. Okay. That's all I'm going to show you here. It's getting blocked up behind me. So we're here in the um, miscellaneous aisle. I can't, still can't get down the mishmash aisle, so that's that's not going to happen. Don't see anything that great here. A lot of uh, wrapping paper and bags. I don't see any Halloween stuff here. So, yeah. Little shells are cute down there. Um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and uh, leave a comment. Also, the first pinned comment under all of my Thrift With Me videos has a link to the playlist of all my Thrift With Me videos in case you want to binge watch. That would be awesome. I'm not. There's some wreaths here, and some Easter eggs, and a, it looks like a Santa cake plate stand. Some artwork that somebody left here. Nothing special. But I want to show you this lacquer. Oh, here's a little tchotchke piece with the pine cones. But I want to show you over here. I'm going to go slow. There's an old, uh, whatever it's called, water, uh, beverage thingy. Oh, my brain today is just crazy. But let me show you over here. Here's a nice lacquer set right there. And it's three pieces, 709 for that. 709 for that. Okay. Sometimes you can get some nice old ice buckets here too. All right, let's see if we can get down the, di the rest of the dishes aisle. I'm not seeing anything here. Ooh, except you. Look at you ice bucket with the, it's a Cora. Rock ice bucket with a road runner on it and it's the handle or maybe it doesn't have a handle is it supposed to have a handle 309 uh, it was supposed to have a handle handles missing 
What a shame. That's sad. Usually they don't have their lids. That's a nice piece. So sad. Okay, we're done over. And there's another one without a lid. They do get them in quite often. So this was tossed over here. This is Friends Cappuccino. This says, you're the Rachel to my Monica. And this says, you're the Monica to my Rachel. And it's 409 for that set. I don't know. I never watched it. So um, this is cool. Looks like it's for the biscuits. Oh, 209. I don't know if there's a name on it or not. But it's a cool shape. Cool shape. All right, so we're going to slowly move over here again to the dishes and see if there's anything I need to show you guys. Here, there's a chip and dip down there. There's a top to a butter dish. Oh, by its lonesome. Some gray cups. Those are cute right there. Creamer still here. Some blue plates. I already have some blue plates that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. Mm, those are pretty down there. It's a pretty pattern. Nope. Nope. What are you? A coin glass. Let's see, you're 139. You are 509. And I think, it, oh, it's broken. It's got a big old chip in there. Okay. We're not going to worry about that. We got a nice uh, terrine here. Very pretty terrine. Okay, that's it for this aisle. Okay, going down the art aisle while I can. That's a hand painted piece signed by North. Nice scene. Some chips on the frame. 1309. Well, those have gone up. That's a pretty bird with a birdhouse. Hunting scene. More owls. Let's see if we can pull that forward. Oh, look at them all. They're sleepy owls. It's the printed on canvas, the 509 for that. Okay, that's a pretty photo frame right there. The waterfall's still here. Oh, look at that. New York style, Fifth Avenue. That looks like something Black Dahlia would like. Um, this is old. Madonna and Child. It looks like a page from a book or something. But uh, look at that. They should have put it in a smaller frame. 209 for that. It's worth it just for the frame. But that is older. Or is it... Maybe it is uh, matted. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to check that out. Uh, here's a frame of a rose. Here's an interesting oversaturated photograph here. But I really like that. I know Black Dahlia would love that, but that's so big to ship to her. Maybe I'll show her a picture of it. Descent into Hades plaque, 109. And that's one you don't see every day. Okay. We got some ballet slippers here. And I'm going to check out the price on that one in one second. Wow, look at this painted. $50. Look at that scene. That reminds me of when I went to California to visit California. Let me look at something over here that's... I think it's a peacock. Uh, it is a peacock. Very pretty. Jay Brunley. Nice. Very nice. And that is cool. That is just, wow. That is gorgeous. I wish I had wall space for that, but I wouldn't pay $50 for it. Let's see what's back here. Oh, Golden Gate Brick Company, San Francisco Building Materials. She's a shishi la la lady. She's a shishi la la lady. That's neat. Mm, I don't see a price on it some phot photography work and uh, I'll have to check out that place in a minute but the rest of the stuff here is just uh -huh. your everyday stuff and uh, we're done over uh -huh. here so we're here in fabrics pillowcases and such 
Uh, that's a bag of fabric, but it doesn't look very exciting. Uh, I don't know. I see them all the time, but I don't know what character it is. I'm, I'm out of the loop where, that, where that's concerned. Uh, rush hour school bus theme. Uh, some kind of netting for something. Maybe for a baby bassinet. It's kind of different. Probably repurpose it into something else. Some daisies. All right, we're gonna go over here to the fabric and the rest of the pillows. Kind of plain. Uh, I don't know what these are. Hotel Iris. Queen Sham. Queen Sham. It's a sham. The uh, macarons are still here. And nothing great. We have these bags of fabric that are here. And they're 10 bucks a piece. This one is promising. Oh, look at this. It's got some Christmas in there, too. And some upholstery stuff. Now, if it was filled with all this kind of stuff. It was filled with all this kind of stuff, then I would get it. Look, it got um, plaid and pine cones, floral. But a big piece of this is this thing here and this thing here. It takes up about two thirds of the bag. So, but if it was all this stuff, yeah, I would get it because that's that's awesome to get all those little pieces. They look like a bunch of fat quarters. Okay, so we're gonna, ooh, that's a pretty pattern on that pillow. All right, we're done here. Here's a cute figurine. It says, cross my heart, I love you. And looks to be from the 70s, 309, and it is from 1970. Usually you don't see them, the big figurines like that, but she's adorable. All right, I think I still have to show you guys Mishmash, and I don't remember what else. I really like the glaze on this piece. Isn't it cool? Look like blood cells. This is a uh, 309. It's from Wild Value City. I used to shop when I uh, shop there when I lived up north. It's pretty, but I don't need that one. It's not fantastic. Well, I was trying to get down the mishmash, but now we have somebody coming up the other way. I just can't get a break over here. Um, hair color. We've got some Halloween high thighs for a dollar nine, and you know what we're gonna find here also? There's a screen door handle. We have some stencils, templates for a dollar nine. Don't need any of that stuff. I gotta get rid of tons of that stuff. I need to have a scrapbooking scrapbooking supply sale. Uh, let's see, we have a belt. Really, nope, it's a purse strap. It's a nice purse strap. Uh, just looking for some crafty stuff. What is this? Whoa, foot inserts. Those are big. Those are big. Okay, we have our, of course, we have our binders here. These are beaded votive holders in the shape of snowflakes. They are 509. And let's see. There's some paper lanterns. There's a whole bunch at the opposite end. I'll show you guys. I don't know what is in here. Uh, curtain rod elbow connector. Okay. Don't need it. The bits and pieces are still here, believe it or not. Uh, Brita filter. Okay, but it doesn't say the model number on it, so that doesn't help. Here are some nail files, 209. It should be like 89 cents for nail files. I use these to work on ceramic and wood and crafts. Uh, works really good when you have to do some fine detail work. I'm not seeing anything uh, that great. Um, Let's see, what is this? Kleenex. They're little packages of Kleenex for $1.09. Kleenex Slim Packs. A bunch of those. Yep, there's a bunch of those. There's a bag of bows. 
And this is the thing that goes on your lap. It's got the, the uh, like beanie stuff, the bag stuff, uh, bean bag stuff. Yeah. Oh, hair, hair, hair. And let's see. Refill pack for four by six Robert, pockets. We have some shot glasses. We have um, a mat. This is the bedazzler thing that we saw last week. And we just have one pattern left here. Pioneer Woman Paper Tablecloth. Okay. And what are you? Little foam shapes. I don't think we're going to get anything good out of... Uh, not like we got last week. We got the sterling silver coasters. I'm not looking like much of anything. Nothing even... To, oh, there's those things again. There's those things again. For your, for your junk. Okay. There were a couple of them, so somebody did buy some of them. Interesting, they do have they do have an expiration expiration date. Okay. Uh what is this here? Don't know what that is. I'm also gonna check out the purses really quick and the uh hanger clips. Those look old. Uh check out the purses and the wallets. 609, what's in here? Oh, I can't get it open. What is that? Some kind of tool set. It's a tool set in there. I don't want to open it up and have them fall out because I'm only using one hand here. Oh, I love these handles. I love these handles. How much are you? 309. That's a good price for this handle. I like that. So, oh, more hair. More hair. People are buying the hair because that other hair isn't here and that hair isn't here anymore. The multicolor, the teal one is not here. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. <laughs> it's still here. The hair is still here. Oh, I don't know. Nothing really good here. Can't find anything interesting today to talk to you guys about in the mishmash. So this video isn't going to be as long unless I decide to go somewhere else after this. You never know, you never know, but it is quite hot out, and I'm driving without air conditioning. I have an old, old van, it's vintage, and it doesn't have, the air's not, it's a long story, it's a long story. We have markers, we have more scrapbooking stuff, and uh, diapers, we got diapers, well, the, somebody wiped out the diapers though, because this is the only box of diapers I'm seeing now and a cute little unicorn with sprinkles because every unicorn needs sprinkles and a toner cartridge that somebody took out of the box which I got to watch and make sure a blood pressure monitor okay and that's about it guys that's about it for the mishmash aisle and it's packed early it's packed early, trying to get through here to the next aisle, and you just can't, you know, just trying. It's a box here in the way. Whoops. All right. We can try to get through this. Ooh, I think they just put these out. These are old Japan mugs with butterflies on them. Uh, yeah, they'll be coming up for the mug sale. I did find an, a straggler as well. I'm running out of room to put this stuff in my cart. Okay. Maybe there's one more I can have a set of six instead of a set of five. We'll see. Or I could keep one for myself. This is pretty. It's got bunnies on it. And it is made in Portugal. Pretty cool. That's very cute. Nice classic style to it. It is severely scratched up though. The wart vase is still here. Here's a faux, a faux phone, a uh, resin phone. This guy's cute. Um, I got his bigger relatives. Um, they're like, they feel like they're made out of salt. I don't know, maybe I'll get him too. We'll see. 
and I just wanted to show you that that one there's another phone I guess they're bookends but this one has chipping on it little houses little bowl here's a decoupage lop-eared bunny and then this is a really heavy bunny right there okay I'm still gonna keep looking here's an interesting piece of art pottery um, except it wasn't made too well it wasn't done when it was clean and you can see the bubbling under the glaze you can see that and it's all starting to chip up um, watch it be some rare thing that's like 300 years old <laughs> But uh, I'm gonna pass on this one. I just don't. I don't see a good future in that, right there. And it's not like it was intentional on the whole piece, I like the pinched spout on it. It's neat, but it looks like the bottom of that part was broken off too. So um, we're gonna leave that. Put that back on the shelf. There's an old pepper. There's a pea. Old pepper ceramic Dor Dorothy made that awesome Dorothy oh there's a piggy so peekaboo peekaboo I see you all right I'm gonna wander here a little bit see what else they put out all right it looks like I'm gonna be picking it up after all these are selling between like 89 and 200 dollars uh no wonder I was drawn to it um it's Puglia and Tulica or something like that. I can't remember the name, but uh, I'll see if there's other ones that have that kind of flaw on it. But it's antique apparently, so <laughs> there goes my eye again. All right, put it in the cart. Here's a Starbucks mug for $2.49. It's a birthday pack. Uh, hot cocoa marshmallow made with ethically sourced cocoa. But it's a plain. It's like couldn't they have done it if it's a birthday mug? Made it a little bit nice, more birthday-like? So, I don't know. I'm not going to get it. I'll just leave that for somebody else. It doesn't have a very appealing design to it, so we'll leave it behind. Cool. Here's a set of vintage fondue forks in the original package. Gale Aware. 209 for those. Isn't that cool? Nice. All right. As you may or not hear, may or may not hear, she is uh, tossing stuff again. Just dumping stuff in there, getting rid of it, wasting it, unfortunately. Very sad, very sad. Alright, I'm going to put this back. Um, it's made by Itala something. Really heavy, it's called an ice bowl. Um, really cool it does look like a big block of ice very thick and heavy um, but I am gonna put that back and this is a cute little creamer that I'm gonna put back no name on it but I love the decor on it great for somebody to use for pens and pencils or something like that very cute and then there's another creamer here I'm gonna put back and it is let me uh, find the thing here I can't remember the name of it. It's Noritake something. Noritake. Noritake. I'm working on it here. Noritake Folkstone. Noritake Folkstone creamer. I'm going to put that back too. I wish they had the sets because it would be so much nicer to get the sets. Um, I do have some stuff in here. I'll go over shortly. All right, I'm putting these back. I couldn't find the Hear No Evil Fox. I'm putting this Myrtle Wood back because the lid, no matter how, I mean, the threads don't match up to this and the oil is all over it, so that's going back. And um, just letting you know, I'll do a recap shortly. Let me get these out of here. I just want to show you this gorgeous bowl before I put it back. It's 509. I don't think it's really gonna go that good at my booth. It's got the gold on it. It is quite pretty with the cobalt. Nice deep bowl, but I think I'm going to put it back. That kind of stuff takes forever to sell for me, so maybe somebody else will have better luck. It's pretty though. Okay, I'm going to put that back on the shelf. So this is a pretty glass vase, but I don't get these anymore, so it looks like an optic pattern on it. It's $1.39. And this adorable owl 
I think he needed a lid. I don't think he, I don't know, he might be a planter. He's quite large. Uh, he is a Holland mold and he's 209. He'd be a great cookie jar. Maybe he's, maybe he is meant to be a planter. Maybe he is. He's adorable, but I like collecting the smaller owls, not, not so much the larger owls, unless they're spectacular. He is pretty cool, but right now I think he would take up a little bit too much room. So, uh, or I could put him in my booth. I could put him in my booth. He is cute. Yeah, they're dumping off stuff again in the glass aisle, so all that clanking you hear is them. Oh, I'm in a conundrum. Should I get him or not? He's so cute. Alright, I think we'll get him. Ugh. Here's some older jewelry boxes, but they are quite used up. 209 a piece. There's that one. And we have this one here, which is really worn out, unfortunately. I don't think... Oh, that one's got a, a fraternity letters on it. This one says something please something something i don't know what it says i oh, thought they were worth showing you guys all right just wanted to show you something right here this glass is not heavy it's terrible quality it's 509 and if you see here this is not murano glass guys this is cheap garbage it is light it is not well made you could feel the quality more like recycled glass not very good quality for this so don't be fooled by a sticker know the feel guys let me put that back up there just wanted to share that with you beware and be aware so i just wanted to show this for wolfie it looks like a haunted mansion. Look at the skull pattern on the tiles. Very cute. Little haunted house. I think it's a haunted mansion. I'll um, show you the sides of it. It's really cute. It's really cute. But I have nowhere to put it. It's adorable though. Little haunted mansion. Isn't that sweet? Look at the skull in the water fountain. It's really cool. I like it, I like it. All the details, the eyeballs over there. It's very cute, very, very cute. There's the cauldrons. There's skeleton wallpaper and bat wallpaper. It's really, really cute, really cute. The potions in there. Oh, that's adorable. That'd be great to decorate for Halloween. It's only 15 bucks, it would be uh, 12 bucks. And it's pretty big. Cute. All right, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'll take one more pass after I do the recap, but I'm gonna put this back. It's a pretty metal box. It's a pretty metal box. A pretty wood box. Um, the music works in it. It plays feelings. Whoa, 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 feelings. Um, I'm gonna put that back, and I'm gonna put this uh, lamb planter back to um, I'm gonna take this as a haunted mansion purse. It's not the Dooney and Burke one. It does say Dooney and Burke, but I believe it's an imposter. But even the, um, I don't know, it's really cool. I'll just sell it as a bag. And, uh, trying to talk over this person's music. Uh, I got this for a crate at the house when I have to rehab animals. You could bolt this right into the crate. Here is a blown glass elephant. Uh, this looks like it's Celadon. Uh, like a Trojan horse. This is really neat. Oh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment underneath. Hit that like. Um, also pinned at the top of my comments all the time under each video that I do. The Thrift With Me video has a link to the playlist of the rest of my Thrift With Me videos. You can binge watch. This is art pottery and it's somebody's house. I thought it was very interesting. The pottery curled up a little bit, but it's a neat piece. I like it. It looks like a 70s house or a 60s house. Um, I got a few of these vintage Japan mugs that will be coming to the mug sale or a vintage sale. Um, I forgot what this is called. I remembered a minute ago and now I can't remember, but I'm going to pick that up. They're going for like 30 bucks. 
I am getting the owl planter. We're just going to call him a planter. Uh, there's an Andrea by Sadek uh, bunny. There's one of those fishing cats, but his fishing pole is broken. He's a shelf sitter, but that's okay. I'll fix him. I'll put, have him holding something else. That's just a pretty aluminum dish with the colored um, gems in it. It's just nice to have. These are vintage. They are vintage Pyrex. So I'm going to get this set of four. These two old owls. It's a matching pair, so they're facing each other. They feel like salt. Um, this signed glass, signed glass bowl. Uh, I'm trying to make room here. Uh, flock horse. This crystalline vase. Very pretty crystalline vase. I like it. I like it. Um, that vintage funky pot pitcher there. Um, these two mugs, like pedestal mugs old ones with their creamer this beautiful art pottery mug I'm not sure if I want to keep it or sell it because I love the colors a little controlled bubble paperweight it looks like it might be an apple these coasters that have inlaid abalone designs in them you can see there hopefully they're all in decent shape you never know um, and the Wizard of Oz metal sign and then one of the old kitty cat uh silver plated i believe uh nap uh ring holders my my brain is not working too well today so that's what i have today not a huge amount but i'm leaving it's way too packed in here it's way too busy i need to get out of here so um thank you for watching everybody and uh until the next time, see you on the flip side. Bye all. Thank you for watching.